What's going on, brothers and sisters? Your thoughts I got for today, be honest with you, is the American politicians and how corrupt they are supporting Israel. You're talking about a small entity of group of members called Hamas, but yet they wanted to obliterate 75% of the infrastructure. And then they sit there and applaud this guy when he comes over here to speak. And you think to yourself, you're like, this dude, this president or this person from uh, Netanyahu, I don't know if he's the Antichrist or part of the working for the Antichrist, but how could a person have access to technology. I mean, this country literally has 275 billion in surplus while Americans over here struggling in debt. And they'll constantly run back and say, I need help, I need help, I need money, we need help, we need help. And need help for what? They're not even fighting a military. You think to yourself, you're like, dude, you talking about the Israeli IDF military versus insurgents or you're talking about just like a, a a group that's basically like underground they don't have no tanks no planes or none of that but they don't have <clears throat> the technology that the united states got and you would think that israel can have access to the technology that america got where they can literally just go in and you know hit their target but what it has done, this whole war has done is open up the whole thing that's been hidden uh, beyond the surface. Because a lot of people in America are supporting Israel based upon biblical, a biblical aspect, thinking that these are the original people connected to the original people that were in the Bible. When technically speaking, they're not that. They're pretty much Jewish converts who converted. And a lot of their lineage come from Europe. So you think to yourself, you would think like, why nobody put the pieces of the puzzle together? Why is it that a country like uh, the UK, a little small ass island, but they didn't went to war. It's like 178 countries worldwide. They didn't went to war with damn near 120 of them. You know, just like the whole situation with the whole Middle East uh, area this place was owned by the Ottoman Empire and for some reason the little ass island wants to go in went in and just took took it fought with them and, and beat them it's like took the land for what just to say they took it or just to say hey you know we got historical uh, historical landmass over here so we just wanted to take it I mean their mind state is divide, conquer, take, steal, just like they did Africa. Divide, conquer, take, and steal. When they went through Africa, they divided that land up like a pizza. And everybody, Belgium, France, everybody got a piece. Everybody got a piece. Just like the Dutch one got a piece of South Africa and then claimed that they're the real, claimed like they 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 Africans because they were born there in the 1800s when they went over there and stole the rubber trees or the diamonds, and it's like pretty much just murderers. And this whole the system in itself psychologically basically appraises murderers. Oh, they're great. Oh, he conquered the great. He conquered the great. When all they did is went in and stole. And it's like basically you're plotting a bunch of thieves. They went over there, took that land over there. Jordan got some, Libya got some. Here go Israel, and here come the Bell Fly Declaration, which basically stated that, and this guy who made wrote the Bell Fly Declaration wasn't even a believer. He was an atheist. Went over in that Bell Fly Declaration and said there was no people living there. And they literally took the land, gave it to uh, the Jewish converts out of Poland, uh, related to the Khazarians. And they they literally went over there. They don't speak full Hebrew or Aramaic. It's mixed up, uh, calling it Yiddish. 
So they went over there, took the land, moved the Nakba, moved all the Palestinians who really have DNA to that area. Because a Palestinian to me is a word for the Philistines or the Philistines that David and Goliath got into a fight with. But literally went over there, took the land, and then act like ain't nothing happening. How do you rob a people, take the land, and then act like nothing has happened? Oh, you know, we ain't do that. Oh, that little that land was us for three thousand years ago. You mean to tell me you trying to claim a land? Three literally went over there, went to war, bombed the place up, took the land. Some oh, uh, well, you know, that's ours from three thousand years ago. Says who? The Rothschilds? The Rothschilds did that? And 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 people the normal people can't figure that out. It's supposed to be part of believing in the Most High uh, God, Yahshua Mashiach. But no, you got a in Israel they have a book. They have a book that uh, what's that book called? They have a book that it says in that book that uh, it says Jesus is in hell burning excrement. And you think to yourself, you're like, man, what the heck is going on? Like, how are you supposed to be part of believing in God, but yet you went over there and stolen people's land? Look at the water sources. They barely got water. They water's damn near tainted, not even clean, but yet Israel got majority of the water. Their water's clean. The Palestinian water's dirty. And it's like, dude, I mean, how do you so-called believe in God and think God's going to save you? You don't even believe in Jesus, but want to claim on the first five books of Moses. It's a different time period. And it's like you ain't even taking up account of everything that Jesus said, because all of it's coming true. Everything that Jesus said is coming true. It's just like, I wonder, like, what is wrong with this planet? The planet is basically being deceived by the devil. And the devil got the masses fooled. They literally got the masses fooled. They don't even want, you know, this whole situation with Russia and Ukraine. They don't care about the Ukrainians. All the senators said from, uh, Lindsey Graham out of South Carolina said they just want the minerals. They have a good resources of minerals there, that, uh, something like that. And that's what they want Russians not to get. It's like at the end of the day, like, damn, you mean to tell me we're going to go to World War Three? Basically, World War Three. you'd rather take that chance off of minerals, off of whatever resources they got? United States is supposed to be a superpower. You're supposed to have all the money. And you're greedy. I mean, greedy as hell. It's like, damn, how much money do you want? And you got these people around the globe falling for this. It's like, damn, how stupid can you be? Biden was like Sleepy Joe. You want to? Biden got three three wars going on, and then all of a sudden, uh, about to go to war. Three of them popping, and everybody talking about what well, Biden is the problem. We don't want Trump. Well, Trump didn't have them problems. So, damn, I mean, are you dumb or something, dude? I be thinking to myself, like, it's some stupid people on this planet. Stupid. Nobody's falling for that game of that, you know, playing the puppet role of all this, uh, uh, we know the Illuminati and all the Masonic Order. We know y'all Satanists, Luciferian. Nobody's falling for the game no more. All that subliminal stuff you did with the, uh, the Olympics and all that stuff, it's like, trying to push this whole uh, gay thing and all that. Dude, that's demonic. You'll see when it's all said and done, all these people, it says, harder for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven like a camel going through the eye of a needle. All you rich people will see when you die, you're going to be stuck in a place in eternity in lava and lava heat inside the center core of the earth. Lord, have mercy. Is it really worth it?